In this tutorial, I'm going to walk through making a domino in Blender. This is the perfect tutorial if you're just getting started with Blender or trying to remember how everything works. All right, I'll walk step through by step through how to, well, make a domino. Let's get started. I'm just going to click General and put our default magical cube of nothingness. Okay, so this shape needs to change. I'm going way over here to scale. And for scale X, it's going to be six. For Y, a three. And for Z, I'm going to leave it one. Okay, and those are the actual dimensions, by the way, of a domino. You would want a uh, length double the width, and then the height is going to be a third of the width. So domino, check. All right, next up, I'm going to click Z. And then I'm going to zoom out using my mouse wheel. You can also click and hold. Okay. And let's see here. We need to subdivide. So I'm headed up here to object and going into edit mode. Once I'm in edit mode, what I'm looking for here is I'm going to head to edge and subdivide. Okay. This thing pops up way down here and click. We need nine. <laughs> Boom, nine. And perfect. So I'm going to just click off here. Okay. So there's a few things we're going to be doing. I'm going to start, since we are in edge mode, I'm going to make sure I'm on this. And these very center vertices, I'm going to click, highlight, and let go. Okay. Now that I have that, I'm going to go up here to edge and do bevel edges. Oh, that's a lot. This is going to be the center line of our domino. Okay. Let's see. Let's try 0 0.03. Perfect. 0 0.03 it is. I'm going to click off. And let's get a better perspective. And over here, face select. Great. So for this, you want, um, well, here, let me show you the domino we are making. Oop, Oop that didn't do much, did it? This one. So it's going to be a six, a line. We just did the line and a seven. All right. So we need to make the dots. When we are making the dots, you want to make sure that they are not connecting to each other. And I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to start over here. Click and I'm going to hold down shift. Click, click. And click, click. Oops, I don't need this. My bad. Click. Okay, because we're doing six and seven. Boop, boop. All right. So notice that I am not doing any of them that connect. So I'm not doing these center ones yet. Okay. Because otherwise they will mush together if I do. So this is going to be our six over here. Boop, 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 boop. There we are. All right, and now that I have that, I am going to go to face, inset faces. Make sure individual is off. Okay, and like that. And I actually want mine to be 0 0.03, I believe. And yeah, so that is looking good. You could do a little bit more, 0 0.04, let's see. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to do that, 0 0.035, awesome. Okay. I'm going to click off, and now I want to select the other, whoops, Z, the other ones, because we need dots here to make seven, and we need dots here to make six. And same process, face, inset face, whoop. And 0 0.035, and we're done. Boom, there we go, awesome. So I'm gonna go here, because I wanna select all of the setters now. And I'm gonna hold shift so I can do this. And now I'm going to zoom in.
And I'm going to zoom in more. And perfect. Now I'm going to change the view here. And zoom out a bit. Okay. What I need to do now is go to face. And then extrude faces. Whoa. And then we just want maybe like that. And so what I did here was negative, let's try out negative 0 0.2. Yep, that looks good to me. So I'm going to go ahead and click off. And now what I need to do is select all. So I'm headed to select and I'm going to go all. Okay. And then what we want is edge, bevel, edges. And wah. Okay, that's looking great. And so what I want width for is 0 0.03. And let me just kind of look around at it. Is that going to be all right? Yes, that is looking good. So I'm going to go ahead and click over here off of it. Okay, we're doing great so far. Um, we're going to color the object. So I'm going to go select all, go down here to material and whatever color I would like. We could make it look exactly like the one, but I'm not going to. Maybe that. Okay. And then I'm going to hit assign. Click off. I'm now going to go above it. And what I'm going to do is start selecting these. And I'm hitting shift to select multiple things at once. And then select, select more and more. And then I'm going to do select, select more and more. And that is let's see if we can do it one more time. Select more and more. Great. So now I'm going to do material, new, new, and pick a color, something like that, assign, okay, assign, great. Now I'm going to click off, and the last thing I need to do, so I'm going to hold down shift and start getting, I want to get all of these. Okay, that looks good. And so now I'm going to add another new. And what color do I want my line? My line's going to be that. And assign. Click it one more time. Great. And let's zoom out some. Okay. Let's go ahead and render. So render, render image. And notice how zoomed in this is, right? So I'm going to hit back. And what I want to do now is I'm going to hit Z. I'm going to zoom out, click off of that. I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to go to edit object mode. So that, right, this is our camera. Now let's try it. And we can see a bit more of the image. Ta-da! So we have one domino ready to rock, right? If you wanted to add more, if you wanted to do a whole set of them, which, which um, I have an example of, I think I'm going to go, oh yeah, right over here. So if you wanted to do something like this, honestly, the best way, because the complications with the dots, is to just make a new add mesh cube, okay? And then I'd go over here and kind of figure out where you want to move it. And remember the size was six, three, one. 
and I would just start from there. So that is our fancy rendered domino. Ta-da!